you just sit on the cocoon as you see, but with using the brush on the cocoon, oh. Oh. <laughs> this effect is called ah. <laughs> What the gentleman has in his hands now is more than the other part of the cocoon, which is not the continuous seal thread yet. You do the second step, you just pull out these threads, and after a few touches, because the material is wet, you will have the continuous seal thread in your hand. The threads you see over there now are the continuous seal threads of the cocoon in the water. Now, a few of these threads are taken, approximately 30 of them, and done. And these threads, ladies and gentlemen, are given in the machine where the wheel pulls at the thread. So inside in the water, you will see that the cocoons are going to get unwanted here. And if you touch, if you touch the thread, you can feel how the material runs. Can you make a second? Yes. So what we do actually, the silk one winds itself into the cocoon, we just unwind the threads. And then you get the, you get the thickness of the silk thread, you see running over the machine. Approximately 30 cocoons are spun together. But that material wouldn't be enough to be used for the kite. What we do is we take another of 20 of those threads and we twist them again. We start a bit, and you bit shape in the other ceramic coat this is the thread we produce, we produce over here. This is 30 cocoons spun together. Mm. But the material we need for a silk carpet is this. This is another 20 of this. So on such a silk thread, you're looking at approximately 600 cocoons spun together. If you try to break this thread, very simple. Take a look, very easy. But if you try to break this thread, you can cut your finger. Because with this single seal thread, you can lift the weight up to 30 kilograms. 